Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how you can fix the Valorant connection error issue. So today I'm going to show you a few steps that you can do to fix that issue. So the first step is just simply right click on your start menu and then choose run. Then in that just simply search for MS config. Then just simply click OK. So basically what we are looking is for VGC services. So for finding that just simply go to services over here. Then simply search VGC by just simply pressing V on your keyboard and that should open up. Now you have to check that it is checked or not. If it is not, just simply check this box and then press apply and OK. Now we are not going to restart right now, but we will do it later. So just simply click exit without restart. Now again open the run by going to start run. Just simply search for services.msc then press OK. Now over here in this list, just simply again search for VGC. Just simply type V on your keyboard and it should appear. Then double click on that. Now over here what you have to do is just simply click the startup type over here and choose automatic. Then just simply press start. Then press apply. Then OK. And that concludes the first step. So for the second method, we are going to delete the Valorant meta files. So for doing that, we need a small application. So just simply go to the Chrome. Then just simply search Geek Uninstaller. Then just simply open this. Now just simply download the first link. And click on download over here. Then just simply download the zip over here. Save to a location, then extract the zip. Now open the folder, then just simply install the application. Now, after the application is opened, what you have to do next is now just simply search for Royd Vanguard. So, over here it is Royd Vanguard. So, just simply right click on it and then press uninstall. Then press yes over here. Now just simply wait for the uninstall. So after the uninstalling process is complete, just simply press close over here. Now the Royal Vanguard residual file has been gone. Now we are going to delete the Valorant meta file. So for doing that, just simply go to the file explorer and go to the C drive. Then click program data and if you are unable to see program data just simply go to view and then check hidden items over here then you should see program data open that then just simply search for riot games then just simply delete the riot games from over here just delete it then again open your riot client So after the Royal client opens, just simply click on Valorant. Then just simply click install down here and choose the path that you originally had. Then after the installation is complete, just simply restart your system and the issue should be fixed. So for the next step, just simply open your Royal client and go to the top icon over here and click on settings. Now just simply click on repair. And now if your game is up to date, it will show something like this. Your game is up to date. But if it is not up to date, over here you will find a column called repair. Just simply click on that and repair your game. And after that, just simply restart your system and the issue again should be fixed. Now for the next step, what you can do is just simply restart your computer and your router at the very same time. Then after it turns back on, just simply try and launching the game and see if it still has the issue or not but most probably it should work now for the last and the final step that you can do is just simply uninstall the game and reinstall it so i don't think there is any need to show you how to install the game because you already know how to install the game so that's all the method that you can try to fix the issue so that's it and thank you for watching do like and subscribe to my channel and take care